time when you just got to let it go Even though you thought it'd go a different way You fight to steer and grab control Even though you may not have control of it at all But slowing down, I lost myself again Hi, I'm Will Robertson with Reflections Video Productions, and we're honored today to be in the company of a lady who's making a big difference in the world of autism, a disorder we've heard about but we really need more information about. I'd like to introduce Adelaide Zendler. She is an autism strategist and the author of Anti-Autism, Become Your Child's Superhero in 30 Days. Tell us something about your work and why you're doing it. I actually am doing this work because based upon the 14 signs of autism, my daughter would be labeled and medicated, and I've been told that I have it. <laughs> so it's personal. If you've been to a movie, if you've been to a place like this with a whole mall of museums, what you, in, in essence, done is fixated or uh, fantasized, taking yourself away from the reality that you might be used to, to come and experience something new. That, according to Merriam-Webster, 1961, is called autism. Let's talk about this for a moment. Medicating is something we've all heard about. Uh, I won't quote the drugs, but I understand that they are a, what they call a treatment option for, for these diagnostic uh, conditions. But uh, you have another solution for this, and it's uh, something we're anxious to hear more about. If we look at them with the understanding that they are God-given, uh, they didn't just happen, right? There's a design plan there. And then we can understand if we look and just pretend for a moment, use our fantasy, use our autistic capacity to, to believe that, that they can guide us in what they need, we might be on the right track. I think we are on the right track. And I can tell you that I know you've got an absolutely wonderful little daughter here and you call her your junior apprentice. Now you and your mother are working together on a very important project. And what do you do to help her? Um, videotape her and one time she talked too much and I videotaped it and she said oh no I talked too much and even the person um, tried to say something but she just um, said something besides. So you kind of direct the film is that right? Yes. Now do you enjoy doing films? Do you enjoy doing the videos? Well yeah but I don't like um, I have to sometimes maybe stand up and move around, but I don't really like doing that. And I don't like to hold the camera. It makes my arms tired. <laughs> you are darling. So let's see now. You're a filmmaker, and you're a student. And is there anything else that you do? Do you have any hobbies? Um, well, I don't know what hobbies are, but I do have... Um, books that I like to read and movies that I like to watch. What are your favorite books? My favorite books are the Bearstein Bears. And what are your favorite movies? My favorite movie is Boz. <laughs> so there we have it, the junior apprentice sharing a little of her personal life with us and we're grateful to have her here with us. Do you have any last words for the audience? Because other kids are going to be watching you. Okay, well then we're going to wrap it. I'm Will Robertson with Reflection Video Productions, and it's been my distinct honor to be with this lovely little lady and discuss the junior apprentice role with her mother's important work. Thank you very much. Okay. More than six million children, six million preschool age children are on adult pharmaceutical medication right now. See, now there's a number I wasn't aware of, but when you take into account six million children, that is a lot of kids. Do you have any final words for your viewers? Because I know they're going to be anxious to hear you before you say goodbye. Oh my gosh, you're not alone. Um, I know what it's like to, I'm not doing good. I know what it feels like when people say things that hurt about us as parents and about our children. I know what it's like not to fit in, because I never have. I know what it's like to be in a classroom where your name is called out 30 times in one hour because, because you are the one with the special needs that everybody seems to notice. And your child, if that's your child, understand that Einstein, Sir Isaac Newton, 
Cameron Harrell, Tom Cruise. There is a laundry list of people whose children were so much like yours. And for those gifted children, the difference is that their parents stood up. Um, the book talks about that. You're, you're, you're gonna get to see what I believe are some of the most powerful parenting concepts in the nation right now that, that override autism, which is why I believe in disarming it. Um, it is a, 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 a autistic weapon of mass distraction that we don't need right now. I want to thank Adelaide. I want to thank her wonderful and beautiful daughter. And I want to thank you, the viewer, for taking time to learn about this very important subject. And for that, I'm Will Robertson with Reflection Video Productions, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Comes a time when you've just got to let it go Even though you thought it'd go a different way You fight to steer and grab control Even though you may not have control of it at all But slowing down, I lost myself again Ooh, I cannot overthink things like this I start to see myself through someone else's eyes. It's slow.